<laughs> What's up guys, Ali and Adam here with another Tutorial Thursday. Today I want to talk about the new features in FL Studio 20 and I'm going to be doing new videos every week about the features and today I want to talk about the new sample features. There's been really nice additions added so let's jump right in and we'll explain. So with FL Studio 20 there's some really nice additions um, I'm really, really liking what they've added in the sampler section. So anytime you drag a audio clip, um, be it like a bass pluck or something into the pattern window in FL Studio 20, you now have these new additions. So I'll explain kind of um, what I've seen and what um, what's new to me. So we have here just like a little synth note and a vocal focus. There are some new additions, one being there's this playback knob. And this playback knob can actually, and I really like that they've added this. It can start from whether, whenever, wherever this uh, yellow line is. So if we put it here, guess, 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 guess. And that's sick. So now you can say adjust it to the very end if you want, maybe like do something experimental. So we can take that vocal and maybe make some percussion or a little hat out of it. Um, likewise, this start offset is very similar to this sample start offset. The sample start offset gives you a nice uh, visual and you can see what it's actually doing um, rather than the other line. But you can combine them both and get your desired effect. So we can put it around here and we can also do that. So you're going to want to play around with these both. But it's really cool if you don't want to... Um, put on the playlist and you know make cuts manually and you want to quickly see hey what happens if I offset this you can get some really cool results so let's bring this all the way back um, another thing I like which I don't think they added in the other version of FL that I was using FL 12 is the length so you can also reduce the length of the sample and of course you can combine that with many different things this is basically the overall length of the sample so if we put it right here, you can see you get weird results. So basically it dictates how long is that sample going to be, the full length or something very short. And you can navigate in between that with the uh, sample start offset or the, the global start offset. Another thing that I really, really like that they've added is um, apparently they used to have this in a very old version of FL, but they phased it out. It was legacy and they brought it back, and that's the uh, pre-computed effects. So this is really cool. Um, I'm not a big fan of the reverb, but let's just start off explaining what each of these do. Um, one being this, I haven't used this before, but I'll definitely try this out. It puts a, a zero dB clipping so that the uh, sample doesn't peak above zero dB. Very useful if you guys are using something that's maybe mastered already, or it's very loud and it's clipping a bit higher and you want to try that out it's gonna be cool I guess that's like a soft clipping uh, another method we have there is the boost so you can see there it's kind of like uh, just boosting the whole thing and that's gonna be really loud I'm not gonna play that <laughs> um, you can also see here this EQ basically um, makes it either very thin or adds a lot of mid and low range um, content so let's play the normal sample focus now with all the way left focus all the way to the right focus so you can see if you need to add some kind of fattening and by that I mean if you need to add maybe some mid frequencies you can experiment with adding it to the right if you want to kill some of the low end slightly maybe move it to the left but be wary with this this definitely does not replace using a parametric EQ or uh, pro Q2 you know fab filter pro Q2 definitely still use an EQ this is just going to be something you want to just experiment with. You might like it. Another really cool thing they added is this uh, ring modulator mix, I believe. And there's the mix percentage with the frequency. So let's put it at 100%. Yes. So that's cool. You can get a weird effect. It's broadened it a lot. Yes. And you have the frequency. Focus. 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 So we'll reset that. That's going to be cool. Um, where I see that being used is maybe you have a sample that's very recognizable, be it like a back verb or a one shot. And if it's something that is uh, back in the mix, you can definitely mix this in 
and make it sound unique and different from the original. And uh, last but not least, we have the cutoff with the resonance. So this is going to be a very deep, low-pass filter. Focus. 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 So you can see there, I think this sounds something like a uh, 12 dB low-pass filter being added on, as well as the resonance to go along with it. So that's really cool. I really like what they've added there. Um, these last features are also amazing. I've been experimenting with the stereo delay. Um, but like I said, I really don't like the reverb. The reverb, there's two modes, A and B, and then the mix percentage. The thing that kind of sucks is that it's just within the sample. So it just adds a tiny wet trail. So here's dry. Focus. Here's B 100%. Focus. And A 100%. Focus. So it can work. Maybe you have a, a pluck or percussion where you want to add something, um, maybe a small trail. Maybe you're running out of options. You don't want to put like a heavy reverb. Definitely this uh, might be in your interest to try out. And this last feature, the stereo delay is amazing. So usually a lot of vocals are in the center and percussion as well are in the center. But if you want to widen it and um, I'm just going to slap on an instance of uh, Voxango Span so I can better demonstrate. So in Voxango Span, focus. you can see there, Voxango Span is showing that it's uh, to the right here, one, meaning that it's very in the center. Focus. Now, if we use a stereo delay, we'll put out about 3%. Focus. You can see there, it kind of jittered in between. You'll get widening effect. And that's really cool because if you guys struggled with using a uh, stereo shaper, now you're gonna be able to very easily add like, let's say 1%. Focus. And there you go. It's not out of phase by going below zero, but we got it a bit wider. So this way you can experiment. You can be like, hey, I want 1% stereo delay. I want 50%, um, let's see here, 50% reverb, okay? Uh, I want to clip it at zero dB and um, we come back here and maybe we want it to start right there. Guess, 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 guess. And there we go. Without adding any VST, we've changed, we've offset the start. We've added a tiny bit of reverb and we've widened the sound. So I really love these features in FL Studio 20. Um, let me know what you guys have been doing with this as well. And um, let me know if you guys uh, are using FL Studio 20. If not, absolutely download the demo. Give it a shot if you're not an FL Studio user. If you are, it's definitely worth upgrading. Um, I'm using the producer edition and uh, I was using FL Studio 12 for a while and this upgrade has been seamless. Really, really love it. So guys, uh, that wraps it up for this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, remember to smash the like button drop a comment, let me know what you guys wanna see in the future, in any future tutorials, and make sure you guys are subscribed for more future content, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Until then, take care.